Hello gamers, Bat here, and welcome back to another episode of Vintage Story. Today, I am have been busy a little bit, and I haven't had the time to sit down and record for a minute, um, but I have gotten out some pathing just out and about around a little bit of the farms. And a little bit out here in the greenhouse area. I did have this fenced off in the parameters of this as if it was a square. And uh, I didn't really like it much being fenced off like that. But this was the old parameter. I just kept the corners there. And I thought it would be a cooler idea to be able to walk through all of that instead of just at gate points. You know. Um, I have been doing some thinking around this place, and over here we have this tower that we wanted to do here and here, and I think I want to move it actually a little bit over here more, and that's going to put it right here. I want to do a kitchen down here, like full kitchen. We'll have an uh, area for our cellar uh, to cook food, to grind our grain, to bake some bread and I've also thought about that as well um, I've had some time to play but not record and when we harvest all of the grain and everything that we have I would like to be able to plop it into a chest and have it grind down into a grinder and I want to do a tower here to get down there but I also want from here if we have farms further out or anything, we can boat and dock. So after clearing out all of this area here, the tower will come down about right here in a circle formation. We'll have stairs going up and it'll go from the floor above us and hopefully into our tower build. Here I was going to do a cellar, but I figured after that, if we are harvesting our grain here, it will be put into a chest and that should already be a cellar. Which I'm hoping we can get away with having a block. So we might have to do a uh, axle in block here. And just a single chest here and we'll have to block that off with a block. We'll figure something out. We'll do a couple of gears here or something. Um, and then, so I wanted to build this cellar here instead. Um, we could expand as far over as the... This is as far as actually we can go. We're here, right here, at the blacksmith. And this is underneath all of the storage area. And I believe behind this over here is that grave that was had a hidden hidden feature. Um, and I wasn't planned on floors yet because some of it will be wood flooring and some of it will be like tile-ish. We'll make our own tile. But let's first remove all of this. Um, this could be a cooking area perhaps. And I'm going to lose these blocks because I don't want to dig under them to get them. These ones right there. Alright. And these ones here. Bada bing. And uh, we could do some with that. These are all, all windows here. Um, I don't... I did not bring any. Um, but we'll put stairs at the top of that, and uh, have, have been thinking about an entrance over there since it is on land over here. And we can easily just knock this pillar out right here and do a door right there. I think that would make more sense. Having a, the garden here, but we don't have a way in from over here. decisions we'll come to we can always change maybe so 
so we're gonna have a staircase over here, and I thought maybe back here we could do um, all the brick ovens and do our baking over here. And then over here we let's see the dimensions: three, four, five, and six. We could go one more if we chose to, which I would like to choose to. I will just shrink that room back there, but that's fine. We have made some tools uh, out of steel already. I have made one of each. We've already dipped into our pickaxe and shovel. Um, cause you know me. Go through shovels like crazy. Um, other things I wanted to do as well. I, I've been busy. We'll get to that part as well. Um, is this guy. Like, we have the iron to fix him, and I have done so. Let's go in here for a little bit. So down here is the the blacksmith, and then here is just under the stairs right here where I've knocked some uh that wall out right there. So that's where that leads right there, and I want to bring I'm all over the shaft under the floor and out this way up above here to go across over there to power the millstone. This guy. The corn, or kern, however you say these. But that guy will go over there eventually. Uh, anyways, getting distracted here. Uh, these are the three chain that are needed to repair them. These are the three plates. And this guy should just go right there. I don't have class specifics on. Oh, this one is only that one. Did I make too many plates? Switch that around. There we go. So this is damaged. Is it always going to be damaged? Our wind must have stopped. It got quiet. Alright. So, then how about this one? No, no, thank you. This one should be this, right? No. Okay, I looked these up and it required... Did I ruin this? It required both of these. Let me see here. Right here. Yeah, a chain and and gave me one that's not damaged. I have class exclusive recipes turned off. I should be able to make that. So I need to do it again from damaged so that it is not. So we need gold next. So I do still need the plates just right now. It's just that. So what is this one? It was already like that. Do I need three for this one because of... Iron chain. Must be damaged. I read these wrong. I didn't make enough plates. Okay. Let's check this one. So I have two, that one needed three, I need to make one. And I guess I have to do this. For damaged. And then that will... Not damaged. So this has to be a damaged one. What is this? Broken. So that doesn't say broken. Okay, so I need five and some blue cloth. We need to make some blue, uh, blue tag. Okay, those can stay here for a minute. Um, plates are for hoppers, for the corn. And then right here is supposed to be shoots, but they don't render, so I'll have to go in and fix the, uh, the amount like I did the flax and see which one will render in 
that icon to stack. Alright, so let's get this guy back up. He's not ready. Alright, well we got the helmet at least. It's uh, yeah, it is still damaged for sure. Alright. Right in my face. I want to bring some of this as well. It's cobble. Okay. Just put that in there. I want to get something done. Um, let me grab some planks for flooring. Maybe. Because I was thinking church floor, or this will be the tower part where the staircase is going. But then I have some chert here to chisel into the floors. That would tie it in. We can try it. Oh, wrong button. I was doing the correct thing. Let's take that. Because if not, oak always works. Oak goes with everything. So right here, maybe we should um, do this part here first. Um, this will definitely come out. We won't have this doorway entrance here. We don't need it. We, we have one. Perfectly fine. Um, this is also going to have to get filled in. Yes. That will also need filled in. I'm gonna do the star room. This will also come down. Yeah, I know, buddy. I got some food for you. Let's go. Crazy Lake's still up there? He is. There we go. Before I get ahead of myself, let's, uh, let's take you around a little bit. I have done a few things. Nothing has been done in here. Oh, except for that. I have done that over there. I didn't mean to push that button for you guys. Um, so that comes out over here where this water um, waterway is. And I just put some stairs down and some glass. And uh, our cellar is still over here. But we're going to rectify that. Um, that build is on hold. But I have been in here with all of our barrel situations. So this is all the rot that we have in our salting. And I have gone ahead and got some wax sealed planks for some longstroth Venus. So they're almost done. And then down here is just on its last leg here, we got strong tannin and five huge hides in each one of those so that'll get us more leather our leather front is looking 19 and all this hide um, I haven't been taking care of that much our lime looks like it's about out um, that's all to catch you up on the um, greenhouse lied to me in creative in creative that turns into a uh, a greenhouse. We have not gotten the greenhouse effect on this whatsoever. Um, I even went in creative and turned myself into survival and past days and it still did not work uh, in true survival. If I had a creative world and I did it, it still turned into a greenhouse. I've just kind of been in here checking, checking a little bit. Here and there but we'll see um so to fix our issue here is what we can do is easily push this wall back make a center here which and put a wall right here and we'll just put glass there our brick here and everything will just get pushed back a little bit and that'll be a seven by seven room and this will be a seven by seven room. so not a total loss in the build it will just have to get cut in half. Um, a little bit of chisel work just to tie things in. Um, I am going to come in here and steal a copy of these. Which let's just do that now. 
Because I am going to put this in the... That's very floral of leaves, isn't it? We might take some of those out. We do have the, uh, the leaf cutter. And over here is that room. Here, here's that uh, tomb area. So just uh, on the other side of that wall is this room here. And I thought it would be cool to just kind of keep it how it is. Um, but I, I did loot it already. So it would have been cool to keep the loot in there too. It's just kind of how I am. I'm a collector, obviously. Like, why? Why? Oh, why all these seashells? <laughs> it's alright, though. Let's get into... Getting this sectioned off. And I did kind of want to go up there and do that, didn't I? But let's see. So these are our chisel bits. I am going to throw them down here. And let's get the clay stone out. So we did want to make that your room. So this should be 7x7. Seven seven. Now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Six, seven. So it'll go right here. Okay. And then here and here. We could do a double door drawer cellar. Which actually shouldn't be because this is a uh, even room. So it should go right there. This needs out. And our floor, I do want to be a different height. So we will have... Because this won't be a cellar now. Now that we are, um, we've got this hole here, it will not stay a cellar. Is that going to fall? That is part of my floor. That's fine. Let me give a give a little think about this. Let me make some hoppers, put our corn up, corn up here, a chest up here, and we'll have a little think about it. That out. Okay, welcome back. I have gathered some things, but we're not quite ready yet. I wanted to bring you in. Um, so, in order to make the axle and gears, we actually need a special glass. So the axle part does not require anything special, but if you come down to these ones with the gears inside of them, they require obsidian glass. And obsidian glass is obsidian with quartz powder, and it requires crushed obsidian from stones, crushed quartz, and lime, and you'll get eight, and four of these will give you two glass. So we'll have four glass from each one of these and I've already sus suspected that I would need these just to get this into the floor um, and we do have that here I did go get some meteors from uh, ruins because when they go through a ruin they leave obsidian blocks so I mined up both I got the full rock block and pieces as well I grabbed these because I like to chisel with these by the way don't at me, I do. So um, that's a very expensive chisel piece to uh, be putting in your your build, but I do do that. So I do collect raw forms of the meteoric iron and the suavite that comes along with it as well. And luckily enough, we do have these splitter plugs from uh, Stone Quarry, and we're able to to get these full rock blocks like we do with these these slabs right here. So, ooh, I uh, underestimated. That's alright. So let's get this into a little bloomery. So I believe this needs to be bloomed. And we will do that and that. Okay. And that can come into my inventory. And we are building right here. So let's just place this guy right over here. We're only doing one. Oh, that's the wrong block first. Let's grab our obsidian. I don't know how much will fit in here. 24. Let's do another one. Uh, 
Alright. And we will do that guy right next to this guy. Right there. We will also grab... We have an empty hand. Let's move this out of the way first. You can go right there, dude. That's maybe only enough. Nope. Let's grab more. Just real quick. We'll just take that, that's fine. Yonk. And we are down here. Let's get some of this in there. And some of this. Perfect. We'll throw that into there. And I need a torch, which I've already got, so it'll just stack there. Alright. So we could get these going first before we tackle this. But let's do... I would like to make sure these are sortable. So I would like a chest, a double chest going that way. I don't think that's going to be possible. Uh, these can't be cut in half. That is a shame. I can still open that. Except, we might need to chisel something in front of this. I need to get these gears. Okay, welcome back guys. So this is going to be like our uh, tower footprint and it will do the same effect that we have going on up there and turn into uh, the lighter church part up into the clay stone. And uh, speaking of that, that pattern that we had going on, I am... sorry? I am going to change... let me see if I can get this cursor. These blocks right here, these uh, aged ones that I have down here, what are they called? These uh, aged polish rock, but this one is the claystone. I want these closer to the chirp that we have down there, building back up in the same gradient that we had. So that'll change that out a little bit. And here, let's figure this part out. So we will actually do a door here there needs to be especially if we are uh, going to be going from the greenhouse as well oh that's the wrong spot all right let's pick all this up so there is our tower footprint let's bring this down and that looks good it's only off a little bit down here I think I was closer down here than I was up there. Alright, I need, uh, need more of you. There we go. Come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So... Let's see how we're gonna tie this down into here because we need a staircase up which will lead to here at that level unless we go this way I think we'll be higher. We'll go up to there. Maybe we can uh, incorporate it into that door that's already there. I'm not sure. This is definitely the wall that we will bring down then. Just to there. We'll do the same thing here. Alright. Let me finish getting some up as far as like a staircase going up here and bring you guys back when that is done. And we technically don't need these down here because that's four. I will rip those out. That out. 
Alright, welcome back. It is a little bit later. I have been toying around with this just to make sure that it was uh, lining up perfectly where I wanted it. But I think around here, just to uh, break up the floor from the tile, um, I'm going to put that there for now. Because I do think we're going to fill all of this in with this. But this should lead up to right here, and then we'll keep this going until it ends up wherever. But I am hoping that this is where that little top area is at. And it should be about right here or so. And we'll take all of this down. Um, so I'm going to put in some flooring and tidy up this little corner here throughout the night so you guys don't have to watch me do all of that as well. Um, and I can utilize up some of this time. Hopefully these will be done. We can get going on this corn. Because we're going to have to bring... Or cover up this top area. I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet, but uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Welcome back briefly. We are uh, in apocalyptic, so I can't really uh, get any work done with these guys. So I'm going to take a little snoozer and see you guys in a bit. Alright, I think they buggered off for a little bit. So we got just our little uh, area here. Still hear them somewhere. We'll have this one go down here, into the kitchen. And then over here will be the cellar. And I wanted to get in some blocks here. Alrighty. Hopefully that uh, obsidian glass is done. Oh, that was a perfect amount. So yeah, we might have to surround this whole box section into uh, the axles, which technically... Oi, hello. Kind of scared me there for a sec. Not cool. Not cool, especially when you don't drop nothing. That axle can go down here. And I do want some of it showing. Like this line maybe right here. I think that would be pretty cool. I'm gonna have to fix this. And then this one will go right here. Should be good. Let's go make some of those up. Let's go check on that uh, city and glass as well. You guys are everywhere. Thought I got rid of you. No, just respawning in here. At least give me something. Only one of you gave me a gear. What was I grabbing? I would like to have some fat. Let's get all of this stuff I'm going to use. So I love these bags. Let's get that and the fat. Let's also grab some wood. Let's grab some of this willow. We need a saw, a chisel, a hammer. And let's make up some of these axle cobble. Let's do not in alphabetical order, are you? There you are. So we just need the clay stone blocks themselves. But we need to make these first. Yes, and uh, make a bunch of those. That can just stay then. And we need how many of these? Oh, that's dry stone. 
Well, either way, this should give us... Oh. Can't do it in Claystone, huh? Just stone bricks, huh? Well, let's go do that then. So it's just gonna take the bricks there. I need my crafting grid back. Uh, close some bricks. We have some of these here. And we should have mortar over here. You guys are really ruthless, killing your own your own friends. It's rude. You guys are down here bugging. Good night. I just came for some mortar. Six of them? We got a traitor. Let's just keep that mortar on us. These are the axles. Let's come down here. So we need two, three, four, five, six. That's perfect. Make all of those. That can all go in my inventory now. Let's hope this runs the right way. There we go. This one does not need to be seen. So we'll fix this up where I don't have this straight solid line here. I'll make sure there's more brick in here. And then we need the gears. I have to handbook all this. Gears. So we're going to look up ears instead. Oh, that's right. Sticks. Just lovely. More to clutter my inventory. Which I don't have very many sticks whatsoever. The saw, right? It is. I almost had it, you guys. I almost had it. Let's go see how many of these we need. Do it from up here. I'll take care of you guys later. So up here, we need it to come down to here. We need one here. Let's figure out how to make that one. It can be one of these, but it needs to be out of, let's say, brick. So we used all of our brick, but let's use claystone on this one. A gear. And what are the- oh yeah, 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 yeah. We need to go and check up on our obsidian glass. Okay, fine. Don't let me out. Uh, that is right here. Please don't be hot, but I can't use you. Perfect. Except it's not. Because I can't use cobblestone. It has to be brick or dry stone. Well, there's a sandstone one. Maybe I don't have enough durability? There's 770 in there. that again. Why would I do that? Hold on. Gears create in sandstone dry stone. Sandstone dry stone. Covered. Oh, there's a cover on the top. I get you. It's 
gonna make me really sad. Let's go see what we have up here. I don't want to mess my inventory up all over again. Nope. Mm. Nope. Here you are. Thank you. Let's just do... One of these for now. Let's keep that there. Enough to mess about my inventory. Alright. So this will go... Uh, only attached to axles. Okay. No. Can you reach that? I cannot. Good thing I made stairs here. Okay. And what we will do... Let's go right there first. And I can do the rest of this... Later. Okay, now we want this guy up here. Beautiful. And then, do we want... Yes, I want again. Except this time... I'm hoping for one to fit right there like that. It did. And then we need one more. Which... Actually don't need any more of those. My inventory's full. Okay. And you can go over there. Okay, and then I would actually like a regular gear there instead. I'm gonna pick that up. Don't want to. Because we can cover this up. And I would like to see that gear there. And then we will come in here and get everything that we will see. it with some cobblestone. There we go. And then that will be like that and here. And we got one more tiny little piece right there. Let's grab that as well. That is perfect. And covered up. Now we just need that other gearbox here. I wonder if I can rotate that. We need also more axles. Here we are. 43 minutes. We're fine. Then that can come up just like that. It is attached. We want our quern. Shoot. Quern. And then I have these to make hoppers. Plus one more. One on each side of this. Which I think we could get away with two. But I don't think it likes it. So we will do that there. And I did grab these because I do think we're going to need a few of these. So I will have to make more. And I hope I can get one chest here. I need one more hopper. Let's borrow this guy. Right? This needs a, uh, a dummy in there. 
these actually are wrong. They need to go here, I believe. I would like that better anyways. And then I think what we could do temporarily is lock that off until we chisel it down. And then let me go, let's go get two more, two more chests. Do I have planks? I do. Oh, you guys are still here? Let's just do... I don't know if I can get three out of this. I sure can. And can we hop down? Yes. So there will be one here. Eventually. Let's go grab something. We need a ladder here. Because I've been a lot of back and forth. Uh, let me get that sorted out. Let's clear these guys out. And what am I needing here? Oh, I wanted something to smash up. There we go. Should work. Boink. And in here, actually, let's put it in here. I do not hear the hopper taking anything from that. Does it need to shoot first? No. It should be a hopper. Where are you coming from, sir? Come growling in my ear? Still have medium rift activity. It is a uh, light in that room there. Because that should take it, right? It should go straight down. Is it because it's a double chest? Let's go give it a try. A little snakey snake. That is going in there. Oh, there's not an entrance right there. And it is going in here. Almost heard it, uh, oh that's from me doing it. Okay, let that just do its thing. Yeah. Let's go grab one more dang chest. From here. Thank you for participating. I need up there. Now, did I pick up any of those? Does not look like I did. Should be 128. Thank you. No. Does it need an Archimedes screw? Dang, I've never made one of those, but I think it might. Or a respell Archimedes. Right there. With port. We just want this, right? Just a plate and a shoot section. Brass, any plate. I like that. But I don't think we need that. You know what I mean? This should already be doing its thing. But it doesn't want to. How about now? 
¿Ya? Don't hear it. Hear it back, guys. Alright guys, just finishing up some, uh, a little bit of copper here, 1100 units, to uh, get some shoots made. So we need these straight pipes that will go from the chest to our cord. And uh, yeah, that doesn't go from chest hopper to pipe either, which really sucks. But we have all of this to repair, just had to make those last um, axles there. We should be able to fill this in pretty nicely. There we go. And those were the other blocks. These ones aren't chiseled now. Yeah, it was those ones. It's alright. And then I've gone ahead and done the axle in claystone here. And I guess that's what we're gonna make these out of since you can't make them out of logs, I guess. I'm not sure. But I did um, up here put in a bigger gear here just to split off a little bit. So we have it in these two rooms here. Um, well, we have three coming down, but so we have two in this room and then we have one going over here. And this should be working now. I, uh, yep, I do hear it. You can actually come down here. Uh, one second. Let me take care of this really quick. Awesome. There we go. And we don't need these anymore. And I still wish we had pick block. Let's grab this. This will be uh, like maintenance section maybe. So let's get this covered up here. There we go. I'll have to take these out as well. All the way down. Alright, so this section, we're just waiting on that copper for the chute. But it does not have the limestone in there. Wherever I put it, that's clay stone. There it is. And then once that chute goes in, that should be good. Here we will need to chisel a block. As well as right here. This one here can go. Wow, not that fast there, buddy. Steel pickaxe. Be quick. And just while we're waiting for that, let's um, do I have the planer? I do not. Let's chisel all of these. Awesome. And then what we'll do is come in here a little bit. There we go. Yeah, I'm okay with that, actually. There we go. And then let's get some little peoples. So we did two over there, let's do two over here. Let's come down one. And also up. I'm gonna chisel that down probably too. And then add in... Can't add in any pieces. So let's chisel off the top. And the bottom. Yeah. Probably accent this a little bit better, but I might chisel it down one more layer. We'll see. And then we can also get in here too. Perfect. Need a door for this room and to seal it completely off. If I put two blocks here, so all almost be covered up. I don't know if these axles even cover up a room. 
So we might have to uh, put a layer of stone in front of this. Which is perfectly fine. And I'm, I'm sure that's not done. Alright, well that's all that I do have to complete for that. And we have this ready to go. Put a cover on top of that as well. Yeah, I think so. And uh, we'll get to getting the kitchen in as well. Uh, we do have it linked up, so that is pretty cool. And all we have to do is continue building this all the way up. And we'll take that tower out and it has just extended itself, basically. So that would be pretty good. Um, we took out this section here. We are almost to getting the uh, Forlorn set. What's up, Crazy Legs? I can hear ya. Buzzing. And, uh... So we'll have this tower here. No access from the outside. No access. Unless I go all the way around. Which that gives no room. Or move it. To where this is just a wall and access is out here. Either or will work. Um, another recap as well. We got the pathing going along all the way around this one. Up to each bridge. This one is about halfway. So it's out to here and then this one is just out to that bridge over there. I'm still waiting on these. Firefly traps. I want uh, jars. I wanted a bunch more of them, but I think it is cold at night. It is no longer above 23, which I think that's what these need to be at. Or they're not close enough to the flowers. Looks like the bees are finally populating the, all the skeps. I don't know if it's going to reach that one. I did add this one in here. So I did bring some over here just to test and see if it actually had to be directly next to a flower. Or if it uh, reads it like skeps do. And then we'll have this bridge here going across here as well. And uh, this needs to be six blocks, which I do think it already is. And we could just copy a bridge over. Let's come check up on our greenhouse one last time. Uh, we checked that one last time, but this is the first one I sewed. Still no greenhouse effect. So I'm wondering what is different from just it being creative that I was able to get the greenhouse effect. Or it could be that my blocks are wrong. Or this is too high. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because it can be a seven by seven. So it's not too high. These ones might be. Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six and a half. Not sure. Maybe I will just put in full blocks there just to have the full blocks. We'll give it a go. Um these little plants. I planted jewelweed, foxglove, uh, k-tuck, the skunk cabbage because it's a really cool leafy one as well. Uh, there's leek here. It's got a cool pink top like an alum. And then the marshmallow here, leek another one there, and water chestnut seeds here. So don't have many of these ones here um, and I want to be able to trim these up a lot, especially the jewelweed the skunk cabbage and the k-tuck because they're what I'm gonna decorate all around with as well as what's uh, surrounding. Here we may end up doing obviously a bridge for sure. Someone in the comments has uh, stated something of making a tunnel with a glass dome which we could incorporate because our kitchen is right here now. We could extend that hallway out to be right here and we can dome half of this coming out and then to a bridge. Because I do like the idea that they had. And we could try and incorporate that here. Um, didn't have any plans to do that, but we'll see. Then yes, we will have a door here 
I'm thinking most kitchen here or storage for crocs like a little pantry but not to preserve like a cellar and then we can do the kitchen we could do the kitchen here and block this off and make that a window where would the window be not right there but it would be oh i hate that these trees are not correct Because I am thinking we have the one entrance. Alright guys, I will do some uh, plan around here, seeing exactly how we want things to go. But uh, that's all I've got for you today, so thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe today and in the future, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bad out! If you made it to the end of the episode, we've got some extra content here. Thank you. Uh, so this is what our corn section is going to look like. Uh, we've got the whole entire room uh, sealed off, except for one final de detail. And that makes it a cellar here. I did test it out with some hay. I got some. Hey, hey. There it is. And uh, this will be cool. We could just throw our grain in and it will quern up and uh, end up in our little chest system here and stay in a cellar as well and last a little bit longer. I still don't have that shoot, but since you guys stayed with me, we should be able to get that up real quick. These are done. Let's just grab. Let me double check on a straight shoot. So if I make these, and I make a straight one, I need two. So let's get four pieces here. Get these babies going on in there. I just need one. Should be plenty. While this is heating up, over here, I have got both of those that we had out hanging out right here. I just moved them back over to here and these are all axle in brick, in stone brick. So the it does come all the way out to here. This one will not stay here. We will put another uh, helve hammer here as well. I would like to make another iron uh, helve hammer head. And that'll finalize that one as well, and we will have double coming in as well. The room over here has been blocked off. We will utilize that. Do I have any clay bricks? Or mud bricks, I'm sorry. And we should be able to just seal that back off. And we'll use that for... Not sure put some type of storage or something going on in there. Um, we do have one of these doors left over wherever I put it. Right here. It's from our uh, cementation furnace, but that's alright. Would like to have some uh, cool iron doors over here. The plan over here also is if you were to take this little route from here that's where our clay pit is. If I could just dig under here and make a, uh, a clay pit, I'm sorry, not a clay pit, a charcoal pit here. Um, we could go ahead and just uh, tunnel over to our little charcoal pit there. We could probably have like a couple, maybe a couple, I'm not sure. We might be able to put like one here and one here. We'll have to see what we can do with uh, what we have under. Uh, building this right here, as you can see there is a claystone rock behind it. It does go into the other room. So over into here. So it does come into here, this is the block that's covering that hole. And I've just kind of uh, chiseled a little bit here. And then I'll come in with another color and insert some accent colors here. But we'll have that going all the way up, then this piece flipped up there. 
and I may do that as well on both sides. Let's hope these uh, match up perfectly. They do, so they will not interfere with the window. And then I will have to do... I was thinking the same thing here. And here. And then we'll get rid of a couple of these. Maybe. We'll see about this one so far. Let's check up on our iron. Of course. Of course you have. Of course. I did move some things around. Alright. Give me... They shoot. Got so many things in here, and I'm auto completing these and see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, we finally got our shoot. I uh, did make um, some extras, but that's alright. We'll end up using them, I am pretty sure. We can go in from... Actually, let's do it from out here, I think. Okay, we might have to rotate that. Let's go get our wrench. Bada bing, bada bang. Alright. Let's destroy that. I wonder if because I placed it on this block that this is the block it has to come out at. Let's try it. I don't know how I'm going to get over there. It's going to be crooked. It won't even let me. You go there. Thank you very much. Let's rip this out. I might fall. There we go. Still does not want to transport because it, it was already in there. I didn't test it with a double chest. That's my bad. Let's go ahead and get a single. Let's see that. That should do it then. Let's cross our fingers. And unfortunately... What if I did two angled here? Bear with me. I do have them, I believe. I do. That's not it. Here we go. There we go. Beautiful. We'll just watch that. Let's grab... some clay here. Let's also do one right there. Chisel, where are you, beautiful thing? Chisel, chisel, and knock down. There we go, and we'll just do this layer by layer up here. I don't know why I'm doing it this way when I have this nifty thing. One pixel. 
There we go. Uh, nope. Don't do that, please. I don't even know what that was. And then we can chisel that out. Like a so. Maybe even, uh... One more layer. So we can see the edge here. Yeah. So let's see if we can get away with that. Can we one more? We can. Perfect. Making my life easy. And then you can't really see much of it, so that's good. And it's just going to grind away at that stuff. I did give it the uh, slower power. That's alright. I'm wondering if I just go one more up and you won't be able to see that as well. Yeah. Yep. And it still looks good. Beautiful. Let's get this ore back down here. Sweetness. Can barely even tell that it's there. But she is. Let's uh, help this blend in just a little bit better here. There we go. I don't want to do everything. And there we go, guys. Let's go check up on uh, how much we've got going on here. Alright, so we got two in there, two in there, and one in there. Because it's going to make its rotations around. And it'll kick one there, kick one there, kick one here, there. Vice versa. Beautiful. We can still get in here. Both sides if we need to. And uh, I'm going to call it there. So thank you for uh, continuing with me till the end to get this completely finished. I did go ahead and just pass this right on up as well. Um, I did grab the same same archway we have there that we did take earlier. And I did incorporate it into here. And I'm actually I'm not done with you guys yet. I wanted to get this wall in here. This is what I'm going to be doing here. So let's grab this guy here, and I got a copy right here. There we go. And we got a nice little wall back here. Once it's actually actually nice. Got a couple pieces right there. I think we're looking good. So then we've got a solid wall just right here as well. And then we can probably just close this part right here off and maybe just decorate down here. Or maybe even throw in a whole bunch of chests. But there we go. And uh, the idea with this as well, I was hoping that we could maybe come off of, let's say, the top of here. And we can do shelves. And just bring the shelves out. We could do it with different material. Um, make countertops. And we'll chisel in our own kind of stuff here as well. Back here was the plan for the uh, bread ovens. But with uh, seeing the limited amount of space back there in this path, I'm, I'm thinking maybe not. Um, we could, off of here, incorporate them somewhere maybe within a wall inside of our storage area and uh, we could just go and grab the flower oh this is lime though um, but typically it would be flower and uh, put them right in there as well all right guys that'll do our kitchen basement and i will catch you guys in the next episode that out